When the Westminster Bridge attacks took place in March, I told the media that British intelligence operations had fought 10 terror attacks in the past two years. They laughed at me. In fact, one journalist asked me why I wasn't talking about far-right terrorism instead. And I don't even think the recent news that the police have fought five terror attacks in the past few weeks alone would make them reconsider their argument. This year, Britain has seen four Islamic terror attacks, an average of two acid attacks a day, and straw in knife crime in London. But some of these recent terror attacks that they've stopped, they were foiled just minutes away from being successfully executed. Okay. Okay. But some of them, were we, we would say, were very close to an attack. In a related... Very close. Ve what, literally? Yes. Minutes? Yes. Minutes away? Yes. God, goodness me. The number of foiled terror attacks are well into their teens over the last couple of years. And we're still meant to be concerned with far-right terrorism. Seriously. Last year, Joe Cox MP was murdered by a white supremacist. Last month, some lunatic ran Muslims down near their Finsbury Park mosque. That makes two major terror attacks in decades. Are we honestly meant to believe that the Finsbury Park attacker would have done this if it weren't for four successful Islamic terror attacks this year? It's not a coincidence the guy who chose to hire a van and use the same tactics as ISIS. This was a revenge attack. He said as much when he told the people there he'd done his bit. And this is exactly how civil war begins. I've been warning against this for 10 years, by the way. The media like to paint me as some right-wing lunatic who thinks only Muslims can commit atrocious attacks. When actually I've been warning the press and the politicians that more Islamic terror attacks against us means more terror on the streets in general. Can we please all wake the hell up to this? Right now, British security services, MI5 and the police are a bursting dam holding back a torrent of Islamic attacks. Letting just one attack slip through the net increases the chance of a violent response from a pissed off member of the British public. We have to tip our hats to the people managing to stop these attacks. But we also have to ask how sustainable this whole situation is. For as long as Theresa May brands people like me as far-right extremists and pushes legislation that puts us on par with people who mow down kids in their cars, nothing's going to change. The burden on the police and MI5 is going to become so great that terror attacks slip through the net all the time. And at that point, I can only help but wonder, how will the British public react? Will they sit back and accept it? Or will Britain descend into chaos and share the same fate as Lebanon? To all those people who think that can't happen here, nearly 30 years ago, Lebanon was a Christian country that invited Muslim refugees in. They then launched a bloody civil war against them, using exactly the same terror tactics that we're experiencing now. Wake up, this can happen on our streets. Thank you for watching. If you like that and you want to see more, click like and subscribe.